Get ready to swoon. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 teen movie kisses. For this list, we'll be looking at smooches from teen flicks only, so the upside down kiss from Spider Man won't make the cut because it's from a superhero movie. Number 20. Augustus Gus Waters and Hazel Grace Lancaster The Fault in Our Stars Almost from the very start, we knew that The Fault in Our Stars was going to be a tragic romance. Considering the two leads are both suffering from life-altering types of cancer, it should come as no surprise that there's no happily ever after here. Hello, my name is Hazel Grace Lancaster, and Augustus Waters was the star-crossed love of my life. But Augustus and Hazel do manage to share many magical moments together, one of which takes place in the unlikeliest of places, the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. I can't think about the misery, but about the beauty that still remains. Try to recapture the happiness within yourself. They share a kiss after being moved by Frank's experience, and the setting adds an extra layer of tragedy to an already devastating story. Number 19, Edward Cullen and Bella Swan. Twilight. How did you get in here? The window. While Bella and Edward undoubtedly have the strangest courtship on our list, him admitting to watching her sleep is not exactly cute, the movie makes us look past that with their undeniable chemistry. After Edward sneaks into her room and admits his feelings for her, they get carried away in a passionate embrace after some intense anticipation. As things escalate, Edward throws himself across the room, telling Bella, I can't ever lose control with you. It's the line of all lines, and one of the most memorable moments of the series. Number 18, Samantha Sam Button and Charlie Kilmeckis, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Whether you read Stephen Chbosky's emotionally effective book or just saw the movie, you know that The Perks of Being a Wallflower tugs at the heartstrings. You've never had a girlfriend? Not even like a second grade Valentine? Nope. Have you ever kissed a girl? No. Charlie is understandably in awe of Sam, and in this scene, she offers him an emotionally complicated kiss, saying she wants his first to be from someone who loves him. I know that you know I like Craig, but I, I want to forget about that for a minute, okay? Okay. There's a bittersweet quality here because this kiss is not meant to be the beginning of something, which is what Charlie clearly wants. Still, a kiss between two friends can be something truly special. I love you, Charlie. I love you too. Number 17, Katie Heron and Aaron Samuels, Mean Girls. The primary storyline in Mean Girls isn't a romance, but rather a tale of the relationships between teenage girls. But the subplot involves Katie's interest in Aaron Samuels, who just so happens to be Regina's on and off boyfriend. Why do you wear your hair like that? Your hair looks so sexy, pushback. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy, pushback? While their relationship is complicated and Katie doesn't always go about things the right way, by the end, our protagonist is back to her normal self and ready to focus on treating Aaron right. How's your stomach now? It's fine. Do you feel nauseous at all? No. At the spring fling, the two share a dance and kiss after she makes things right with Janice and Damien. Number 16, Josh Lucas and Cher Horowitz, Clueless. If you can't get past the fact that they're former step-siblings, which we definitely can, Josh and Cher are one of the most iconic teen movie couples of all time. You look like Pippi Longstocking. You look like Forrest Gump. While Cher spends much of Clueless trying to matchmake for others rather than focusing on her own romantic life, by the end, it's clear that she and Josh are meant to be. Oh my god. I love Josh. Although earlier in the story he has disdain for her and doesn't seem to quite get her, she eventually manages to impress him with her own specific brand of wits and kindness. The two kiss on our house's elaborate staircase, making for a memorable ending. Well. You can guess what happened next. Therefore, As if! I am only 16, and this is California, not Kentucky. Number 15, The Goodbye Kisses, The Breakfast Club. You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, with the most convenient definitions. After a day spent in detention, nothing is the same for the rebellious teens of Shermer High School. They've all defied their expectations of one another and formed bonds that no one could have anticipated. I, mean, I consider you guys my friends. I'm not wrong, am I? 
Before saying their goodbyes, Allison, the basket case, and Andrew, the athlete, share a slightly awkward smooch despite their very different social circles. Then Claire gives Bender one of her earrings as a symbol of her affection, and the two embrace in a move that seemed incredibly unlikely just an hour and a half earlier. Number 14. Lana Skinner and Bennett Russell – Candy Jar This Netflix original movie is a classic tale of enemies becoming lovers. Lana and Bennett start out as competitors because they're both hell-bent on being the president of their high school debate club in order to get into Ivy League schools. I've participated and placed in more total events than he has, including the state tournament. I've also raised more money than she has for our program and for our school and for that lovely building across oh, the Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to buy your way to the top with your mother's Rolodex. But as the movie progresses, they become friends, and while working together, they end up sharing a kiss just before the big state tournament. Bennett is left wondering what it meant because Lana prematurely ended the kiss. The debate is this weekend. Right. In the end, however, it's clear that their relationship is more important to them than any competition. You think I like you? <laughs> well, damn it. You might be right. Number 13. Alex True Love and Elliot. Alex Strange Love. At first, Alex Strange Love seems like it's going to be a love story about Alex and his longtime bestie Claire. Excuse me. Sorry for spying. Is that a blue ring octopus? Wow. Did you know your cephalopods? But Alex soon starts to question the identity he's built after meeting openly gay teen Elliot, who expresses clear interest in him. Sorry, I'm a little obsessed. That's okay. I like a guy with strong opinions. The first time they kiss, Alex reacts negatively and leaves in a huff. Over time, though, Alex does some deep introspection and realizes what he really wants. I invited him. I didn't think he'd mind. On prom night, with Claire's encouragement, Alex overcomes his fears and kisses Elliot in front of everyone. Look, Alex, I really don't. There have been a whole lot of prom night kisses in teen movies, but this one feels fresh and modern. Number 12. Ellie Chu and Aster Flores. The half of it. The half of it is certainly an original love story, with high achiever Ellie making extra money by writing love letters on behalf of ineloquent jock Paul. I, I just need a few words, good ones. I'm not writing to ask her for, to some girl. It'd be wrong. A letter is personal. It's supposed to be authentic. The thing is, though, the object of Paul's affection, Aster, also happens to be the girl who Ellie has a crush on. Though we don't get to see Ellie and Aster actually entering into a relationship, they do share a kiss after Ellie boldly initiates one. It leaves us on a hopeful note that the two may work something out in a couple of years after college. I'll see you in a couple years. Number 11. Lainey Boggs and Zachary Zach Seiler. She's all that. You know, I made that bet before I knew you, Lainey. When Zach, played by Freddie Prince Jr., foolishly made a bet to woo the school's resident artsy loner Lainey, played by Rachel Lee Cook, he didn't think that he would actually fall for her. But of course he did. It's a rom-com. After she finds out about the bet and has her heart broken, Zach comes and finds her on prom night. He apologizes for his behavior and for ruining her big night. Lainey forgives him as the two dance in her backyard, and she gives him the kiss of a lifetime. Be silent. Be still. Be silent. Zach. What? Shut up. Number 10. Tessa Young and Hardin Scott. After. She took my hand and led me out of the darkness and showed me that whatever our souls are made of, hers and mine are the same." Anna Todd's novel After was a sensation when it was released, and the steamy adaptation garnered many new fans for Tessa and Hardin's story. This is certainly not a chaste high school romance, with the characters being slightly older college students. While there has clearly been sexual tension between our two protagonists earlier in the movie, it all comes to a head when Hardin takes Tessa to a lake and they admit that there's no way they can be just friends. I thought that you just wanted to be friends. I don't think we can ever be just friends. The kiss they share is a passionate one that kicks off their relationship. Number 9. Peter Kavinsky and Lara Jean Covey – To All the Boys I've Loved Before All by yourself right here? Even though it only came out in 2018, the hot tub kiss in this Netflix phenomenon became an instantly iconic one in the Teen Movie Hall of Fame. While on a class ski trip, Lara Jean takes a chance and accepts Peter's risque invitation to hang out in the hot tub. Ever the good girl, Lara Jean jumps in the water wearing her nightgown. 
but she's ready to break the rules when Peter gives her a very steamy kiss that's even hotter than the water's temperature. This one definitely warrants an instant replay. There's no one like you, Cody. Number 8. Katarina Cat Stratford and Patrick Verona – 10 Things I Hate About You We've never had as much fun watching two people who hate each other fall in love. Cat and Patrick have one of the best courtships in teen movie history, and their kiss at a paintball park is still one we want to recreate. Still showing off their rivalry, the couple played an intense game of smashing paint balloons on one another before falling in the hay and into each other's arms. But even after an extensive kiss, Kat was still on her A-game and smashed another balloon into Patrick's head after they broke apart. Playful and cute, this kiss is definitely the most fun on our list. Number 7. Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 You do it. I can't. Yes, you can. We watched Hermione and Ron grow up over the course of eight movies, but at times it seemed like they'd never actually get together. But luckily for us, the high stakes of looking for Voldemort's horcruxes finally allowed these kids to act on their feelings for one another when they both moved in for a kiss. It was the culmination of everything we've been waiting for, and the moment was perfectly executed when they broke apart and laughed playfully. Their friendship and respect for each other shone, making the moment all the more romantic. The kiss in the book may have been even better, but who's counting? <laughs> Number 6. Torrance Shipman and Cliff Pantone – Bring It On Uh, you remember my friend Torrance, right? Popular head cheerleader Torrance and the alternative new kid Cliff didn't seem like they'd be a natural fit, but this odd couple is one of the best pairings. With their natural chemistry and bantery flirtation, it wasn't hard to root for them despite him being the brother of one of her squad mates. That's why it's so satisfying when Torrance finally kisses Cliff at the big cheer competition. We love to see our heroine take charge, and it felt both spontaneous and earned. She may have lost the trophy, but she got her man. So, second place? How's it feel? Feels like first. Number 5. Samantha Sam Montgomery and Austin Ames – A Cinderella Story Austin, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. A Cinderella Story starring Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray is a cult classic, and for good reason. Though it is a retelling of a romance story that we're all familiar with, there are plenty of twists and turns to keep us guessing. With Happily Ever After on the horizon, Sam confronts Austin about his behavior. Okay, I know that you think that I'm just some... Coward. Phony. Okay, just listen. No, you listen. You turned out to be exactly who I thought you were. I never pretended to be somebody else. It's been me all along. And it was me who was hurt in front of everybody. At the big football game, he kisses Sam in front of everyone, affirming his feelings for her, despite their different social classes at school. I'm sorry I waited for the rain. It's okay. Of course, this movie had to have a classic fairy tale ending. Number 4. Simon Spear and Abraham Bram Greenfeld – Love, Simon Can I sit there? The setting can make or break how romantic a kiss is, so it's important to pick the right location to maximize the feels. At the end of the movie, Simon tells his mystery crush that he'll be waiting for him at the carnival, and the two meet on the Ferris wheel. It's the prime location for his crush to unveil his identity, since onlookers gather to see Simon land his man. The movie plays up the tension, as his crush leaves Simon waiting until the last minute. But when his friend Bram shows up, it's worth the wait, and they share a steamy kiss while the crowd cheers. Number 3. Samantha Sam Baker and Jake Ryan – 16 Candles Good wish. It already came true. Everyone knows that a girl's 16th birthday is an important one. But for Molly Ringwald's character Sam, it was almost ruined by her family forgetting it was her big day, since it was overshadowed by her sister's wedding. But thank God for Jake Ryan, the adorably perfect jock who saved the day by rescuing Sam from the wedding. Jake topped himself further by getting her a birthday cake, and then giving her the kiss of a lifetime before she even blew the candles out. Jake proved that the most romantic gesture isn't always the grandest one, but the one that shows real thoughtfulness. We're still gushing at how sweet this one was. Number 2. Sam Coulson and Josie Geller – Never Been Kissed Just like the Love, Simon kiss but with even bigger stakes, the baseball field kiss from Never Been Kissed tugs at her heartstrings because of how vulnerable Josie is. After writing a newspaper article where she outs herself as being an undercover reporter, she invites Sam, the teacher she was crushing on, to give her the first kiss she's been waiting for in front of a huge crowd at a baseball game. It's a high-pressure scenario, and just when it seemed like he wouldn't show up, he swoops in at the last second. 
the kiss is captured with a sweeping 360 degree shot and validated the inner Josie in us all. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Romeo Montague and Juliet Capulet Romeo and Juliet Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not while my prayers affect I take. Upon locking eyes with each other through a fish tank at a crowded costume party, it was game over for our 90s Romeo and Juliet. The doomed lovers had the most epic case of love at first sight. Romeo stole Juliet away for a moment of privacy and kissed her in an elevator. But that wasn't enough, and he later snuck outside her window, which led to an even more swoon-worthy kiss when they embraced in the pool. Everything about the sweeping sequence was lush and cinematic, and so convincing that it kind of made us believe in love at first sight, too. Spud of love, my summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.